everybody, Mr. Traveler here, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Guys, if you would be so kind, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and make sure that you click that notification bell so you know when we go live or upload informative videos just like this. All right, so let's dive right into it today. Last night, very early in the morning, Disney made a huge announcement that they have uh, on order purchased four brand new cruise ships which will be delivered to the fleet between the years 2027 and 2031. Now this is really big news guys so let's go through the, the little bit of history with the Disney Cruise Line. So currently they have five ships. Uh, the original ships are the Magic and the Wonder then of course was followed up by the Dream and the Fantasy and just recently we had the Wish. So now we already have four new ships that are slated to come to Disney in recent times here. So the treasure will be coming to us in December of this year. And then 2025, we're gonna get the Destiny, which they also mentioned that it's gonna have the Hercules show on board the Destiny. So really looking forward to that. Also for 2025 is gonna be the Disney Adventure. Now this is a little bit different. So if you remember, we did a video a couple of years back about a cruise line that went out of business, Genting. Uh, I believe it was back in 2022. So Disney purchased one of the ships that was in completion status. You know, they were building the ship. And they're going to turn this into a Disney cruise liner called the Adventure. This will be a 208,000 gross ton ship. So it's going to be a very big ship for Disney. And what's very interesting about it is that it's going to do its inaugural season out of Singapore. Also, over on the Oriental side, there's a company called the Oriental Land Company who owns Tokyo Disney Resort. They are also going to be purchasing or building another Disney ship that's going to be inspired off of the Disney Wish. That ship is going to be sailing from Japan. So, this is really exciting news. Uh, you know, if I can explain Disney a little bit to you, uh, by all means, they're not a, an inexpensive cruise line. They do cost some a pretty good penny to cruise on Disney Cruise Line, but you're getting really great technology on board the ship and you're getting probably the best service you'll ever have in your life on board a cruise ship. It's like luxury cruise line service, but on a big ship. Um, and if you think it's just for kids, you are sadly mistaken. Um, so I think this is going to be a really great opportunity if you've ever wanted to really discover or explore the Oriental market. I know Singapore is one of those that is definitely on my list. So I'm going to have to keep this Disney adventure in mind uh, when I think about going over there. So, you know, that's coming out of Singapore and the new ship, uh, the... Uh, that'll be owned by the Oriental Land Company that's going to be coming out of Japan. So that's going to be some really, really interesting itineraries coming for those two ships. Um, so that will bring up the cruise line fleet up to nine with those four ships between now and next year. And then the four new ships is going to bring the total up to 13 ships, more than doubling the fleet size for Disney Cruise Line. So we'll talk about it a little bit here, but I think this is a really good news uh, on a few fronts here. Um, so the, the four new ships will be built between 2027 and 2031. Um, and the thing about Disney with those five ships that they have right now, it is a huge demand for these ships. Like they fill up and they fill up fast. There's no last minute deals for Disney. Uh, there's no last minute cruises for Disney they fill these ships up and they fill them up quickly. Uh, the Disney Cruise Lines, for the most part, require you to put a 20% deposit down. So whatever the cruise fare is, they require you to put a 20% deposit down. So they really make you have some skin in the game when you book a Disney cruise. Uh, my hope is that with these new ships, even though a couple, of, a couple of them will be over in the Oriental market, I'm hoping that with these new ships like the ships like the magic and the wonder the older ships we'll start to see maybe a price decrease so maybe more people that are more budget conscious can get an opportunity to sail a, a disney cruise line um this 
like I said, they're not cheap, but you get what you pay for. The food is excellent. The service is beyond excellent. The staterooms, the ships are beautiful. The technology on board the ships is great. I mean, it's a really fun time for adults and for, especially for the kids. Um, and it's something that people really, you know, budget for, save up money for, and things like that because, it, again, it is not an inexpensive trip. So my hope is that with these new ships here, it'll kind of lower the price point for some of the older ships so that, you know, you and or whoever else can get a chance to jump on board these ships without paying uh, an exorbitant price tag with it. Um, they're definitely worth checking out. But now, let me say this. Um, if you're contemplating doing a Disney cruise, um, it's definitely worth it, especially if you've got young kids. It's something, I, you know, like I wouldn't bring a baby on there or anything like that, but if you've got the kids that are, you know, old enough where they're going to remember this trip, it's definitely something that they're going to remember for a lifetime. You know, you bring them down to Disney Cruise, maybe even uh, add Walt Disney World to it and make a whole, you know, week or two weeks out of it. Uh, you would definitely have a blast on board these ships. And I think that it's highly worth it. So that's just my two cents on there. I really enjoyed everything Disney. Of course, we live right here in Orlando. So, uh, you know, we, we frequent the parks quite often. And the cruise lines are just like the parks, but on water. Um, so they're, they're a lot of fun. And... Um, can't wait to see the new ships, see what the new names are, see the new technology that's going to be on board these ships. I think it's going to be really, really cool. So anyway, if we can help you book a wonderful Disney, we do Disney Cruise Line, we do Disney Resorts, we do anything you can think of in the world, uh, give us a call 877-697-4470 or you can book right online www.mr-traveler.com. We would love to help you and your family make brand new precious memories all right disney let's see we got a lot of cruise lines building new ships and uh the battle of the cruise ships continues on <laughs> all right everybody until next time life's short have fun see the world bye guys